Today we are going to take a company revenue table and turn it into a dynamic top 3 leaderboard. We'll use some Excel modern formulas and by the end you'll have one formula that updates automatically whenever your data changes. Here is our table with organizations and their revenues. Some companies appear multiple times – Toyota, Shell, Apple and others. Before we start, I recommend converting your range into an official Excel table. Select your data, press Ctrl-T and make sure my table has headers is checked. I'll rename the table to data. Keep in mind, tables make formulas dynamic, so as you add or remove rows, your formulas automatically update. Our goal remains the same. Now let's total the revenue for each company. Here is a formula. We will use pivot by. Let's break this down. The first argument is our company names. This tells Excel what to group by. Then we will omit the second argument and for the third is our revenue. The column we want to aggregate. Then we need to define what function to use. Here it's just sum. The function we apply so it adds up all revenue for each organization. And we don't need the grand total row. So type 0 as the fifth argument. The result is a compact summary. One row per organization with its total revenue. Think of it as a pivot table that updates instantly in the grid. Next, let's pull out the top three companies by revenue. Here is the formula we will use. Filter. The first argument is the array we need to filter. Keep in mind that you should add a hash symbol after the name of the first column in our previous step. So J3 hash is the spilled range from the pivot by formula. The second argument is our condition. The op formula removes the first column, the company names, and leaves just the revenue values. And the large formula finds the third highest revenue. Why the third? It's because anything equal to or greater than Z belongs in the top three. Finally, filter keeps only the rows where the revenue is greater than or equal to the threshold. Notice that if the third and the fourth places are equal, both will show up. That means you may get more than three rows. Now the list is correct but not ordered. Let's sort it from highest to lowest revenue. So we will wrap our formula in sort function. The to tells sort to use the second column, which is the revenue column, and minus one means descending order. This way, the number one company is always shown at the top, followed by second and third place. By the way, we can now wrap everything into one clean formula using let function. Let's combine all the three previous formulas in one, just using copy paste. Using let function, we don't need to calculate the pivot data three times. We can define the name for our pivot data and use it later. I'll name it x. Then instead of repeating pivot by function multiple times, we simply use x. The let function makes the formulas easier to read and more efficient, since Excel only calculates the pivot once. And the result is a dynamic top 3 leaderboard. Change a single revenue entry in the table and the list updates instantly. It's awesome for dashboards. So that's it. With one formula, we've built a live top 3 leaderboard using pivot by, filter, sort, drop, and let. No pivot tables, no manual updates, just pure modern Excel. And if this gave you an idea or saved you a step, give it a like so more Excel learners can find it. See ya!